Yo, 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 yo. I say, yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jarrence coming at you guys with another video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, you already know what to do, man. Drop a like on this video. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Yo, check out the links down below in the description, man. We got my Twitter and my Twitch. So anybody that want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, y'all can follow me on Twitter. DM me over there, you know what I'm saying, with questions, talking about basketball, 2K, anything. And I'll be willing to be talking about it. The UFC, anything. Also, Twitch. Anytime I'm not streaming on YouTube, I'm streaming on Twitch. That's where I play my other games like Warzone. I'll play UFC 4 over there. Call of Duty Cold War. We play everything else on Twitch. So if you guys want to see me play it, make sure y'all, you know, follow your boy on Twitch over there. We, we damn near. Can y'all get me the 200 followers on Twitch, bro? Get me the 200 followers on Twitch, bro. We like at 197. One, all we need is about like four more followers on Twitch and we get 200. 200 followers, bro. So I would, that would be really, really appreciated. But let's get straight into today's video. So as y'all know, man, supposedly there's this thing going around. Now, I don't know if, if this is real or not, but y'all know usually if it doesn't come from 2K Intel or 2K themselves. Um, and 2K Intel on Twitter to be exact, at 2K Intel, they drop a lot of accurate information. I didn't really see this coming from them. I can double check right now again, but basically there's this thing going around that's saying that basically we can earn a rep without actually having to play part games, which in all honesty, actually it did come from 2K Intel. So basically um, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's probably not that bad as people probably think it is, but I'm gonna read the screenshot what it says. It says, create your legendary my player. So it says NBA 2K22 is home to the biggest online basketball community in the world. A new quest system allows my players to build their rep without playing pickup games, roam the streets and interact with new non-playable characters that populate the city and neighborhood, become a 2K business mogul and get involved with fashion brands and the music industry. So I think, I think rep is kind of changing as we know it. You guys know how all we know rep for is just obviously hidden legend, hidden all-star. I think 2K is trying to expand on that in a sense. And, and maybe all these things might go with it. So we might have to actually do stuff outside of playing the part. Now, like I said, I've been saying this about a lot of the things with 2K with their features. It can either go two, it can either go two ways. It can either go good or it can either go bad. In all honesty, for me personally, I mean, like a lot of us just want to play the park. So if we have to do other things outside of playing the park, that could get us annoyed. But at the same time, if you're not a big YouTuber um, with 100K plus subs, it's unlikely that someone's going to know who you are. So if you are rep grinding, right, and you're trying to be one of the first people to get top rep, how can you get top rep if you go on a 10 game win streak and nobody wants to play you? Let's say even if the game is lit, like, and you're actually able to get games and you know what I'm saying people are playing or you know it's more recently that people are going to play cuz it's a good game if you're if you're not a YouTuber or something like that people are not going to want to play you so this is just a way that it'll make it more convenient for the average user to probably get top rep do I think it's going to be the best idea I'm not guaranteeing it but if there's other things that you can do that is an incentive to like building your reputation and it's not just your park rep it's all together because it looks like they're going to obviously like they're including this this hip hop thing, this mogul becoming a mogul. Like I said, what it says in it, I'm reading one more time. It says a new quest system allows my players to build their rep without playing pickup games, roam the streets and interact with new non playable characters that populate the city and neighborhood, become a 2K business mogul and get involved with fashion brands and the music industry. So I don't, I think that's what I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking like, oh, okay, now we're going to have to like do stuff with, um, like it says right there, fashion, music, and all of that is going to help you build up your rep. Is it the best thing? I'm not sure. But at the same time, for those people that do want to get top rep, right, they're not able to do it because we're not getting games anyways. The only people that are going to, think about it, guys, the only people that are able to get top rep are people that are known now. Let's say for an example, if you come out of the gates and you're just, you know, you're streaking like crazy and in the beginning, it's still going to be hard for you. People are still going to have a leg up on you. Now, obviously over time, yeah, you'll build it up to the point where people are just know you like, oh, he's top rep grinding. We know who this guy is, but it is, you know, it's difficult in the very beginning. So 
my personal feelings towards that this whole little leak that's going on it can go either or bro it can go either way either it'll be good because it'll help people in the community have a chance to get top rep and not just you know the big youtubers or the bigger youtubers or the bigger popular names in the community or it could, it'll just be a pointless feature that we don't care about and we you know we'll just want to play the park so um another tweet that i've seen or a tweet that you know was a good tweet came from power df he said i don't think quest given rep or i don't think quest given rep in 2k22 is a huge problem unless the cat unless the quest give more rep than actual playing human players which makes sense he then goes on to say because if that's so or if so that's road to 99 all over again where people sit in my career to rep up feel like it should be a one-time thing for rep and can't do it again so i agree with him right there so that's perfect that coin that goes along with what i've been saying you know um you know if we're not able to do that then that's great because you guys know what it was in 2k18 if you guys didn't know 2k18 and 2k19 it was literally road to 99 so you literally had to sit there and play my career why did you have to play my career because you got the most rep from my career so i don't think that people are going to sit there and be able to get more rep from doing business deals and you know making music industry moves and and brand deals closing fashion deals i don't think that's going to make you get more rep i feel like they're just kind of adding that along with the rep so it, it you know it should be more so of an add-on and not necessarily the full thing of oh this is how you get rep now because that wouldn't be smart of 2k at all to just sit there and say oh, okay no like i think it's, they just wanted to play a part i think they they're trying to find ways to make the game playable for a longer period of time um, them adding matchmaking, we cannot forget about that because matchmaking was a really, really big move. So the fact that there's actually matchmaking, now, you know, we're going to be able to get games more consistently. So if we're able to get games more consistently anyways, I mean, what does it really matter about that other stuff? Other than, yeah, the fact does remain, it, we can't get more rep from doing th those things outside of playing the park. We need to get the most rep from playing the park. And they can say that, you know, those music deals and the fashion deals are a part of building your reputation. You know what I'm saying? It could be cool, guys. You never know. You have to kind of look at it from the, you know, from a decent standpoint. But then again, keep your guard up because this is 2K and we have been disappointed plenty of times. So hope y'all understand what I'm saying. If y'all want to see me make more videos about this, y'all let me know. This is just a little leak that's been going around. Um, it could be good. It could be bad. But at, at the end of the day, we, we have to test the game out because we're the ones that's going to find out whether it's good or not. So that's pretty much it. Make sure I leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload or stream. Follow your boy on Twitter and Twitch. The links are down below in the description. And I appreciate you guys for watching. It's your boy, John Ranks. And I'm out, y'all. Peace. Gang, they cannot do it like him. Uh-huh. Nobody's shooting like him.